Hello. This really has nothing to do with uh, Windows 7 directly. But I will say one thing um, before I begin this demonstration. I've had a dialogue come up a few times. And essentially what it said was that the JAWS mirror drivers, um, in a nutshell, it was saying that the JAWS mirror drivers had disappeared. And to fix it, I need to run the setup and do and with a command... Uh, what was it? Slash type repair. The trouble is, I don't know what what they mean by running the JAWS setup. Uh, does that mean I have to run the installer again? That I need to uninstall JAWS and reinstall it, or what? So if I could get some help from that, that would be appreciated. Um, I'm looking at a, those uh, users on my uh, channel that subscribe to me who, who are JAWS users. Um, in the meantime... I wanted to show you something that was rather neat. Now, for those of you who have a Mac, you are familiar with the ability to share your desktop through iChat and have somebody else take control of your computer. Well, we have something in JAWS that's actually brand new, and I'm going to show it to you. Um, I'm going to zoom in here to activate the... Uh, the JAWS window, because I, I just want to save some time here. JAWS. All right, there we go. Now I'm going to zoom back out. Menu bar, leaving menu bar. Hmm, that was interesting. Okay, so I'm on the menu bar. Let me just make sure that that's where I still am. Menu bar, options to navigate, press left or right arrow. Now we're going to navigate over to the help. Utilities, language, help. Menu, help menu, training to navigate, press up or down arrow. JAWS help topics F1. Keyboard commands, what's new, end user license agreement, technical support, web resources submenu. Hang on, maybe it wasn't in help. I just discovered this a few minutes ago before, um, before doing this video, so I'm trying to remember where it's located. Let's try a new tool. Utilities menu, merge utility, synthesizer and braille manager. No. Options menu. Basics. Dot. Dot. dot utility. Tandem center sub menu. Hang Jaws on. Tandem sub menu. Oh, so there it is. Okay. Hang on. Let me. Options just... menu. Basics. Dot. 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 I'm just going back through the menu so I can remember where it is. Utilities menu. Jaws tandem sub menu. Okay, that's what I want. Tandem center sub menu. Tandem direct sub menu. Disconnect unavailable. Quick start guide. Dot. 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 Disconnect on tandem. Tandem center sub menu. Allow access to my computer dot dot dot. Get access to a computer dot dot dot. Now these two options here are essentially what you have on the Mac through iChat. The difference is that somebody who is willing to pay for a subscription service as the host system excuse me, can take control of a client. Now what advantages does this have? Well, if you're an IT professional, in an environment that manages several computers, you can go in and take in, take control of their computer as well as their copy of JAWS and fix problems. This is the only screen reader on the market that I know that can do this. Uh, the, the only screen reader for Windows, I should say, that can do this. I, I really cannot speak to the access of voiceover to the uh, iChat utility. Um, that allows you to do the same thing. I really don't know. Um... I think you can, though. You just have to have somebody else have their voiceover active, um, and then you can take control of it. But anyway, you get the same thing here in JAWS. You can either allow access to my computer. Dot dot dot. Have somebody allow have somebody access your computer, or get access to a computer. Dot dot dot. Or take control of somebody else's computer. So we're going to go to the first option here. Allow access to my computer. Dot dot dot. I'm going to push enter. Enter. Leaving menus. Allow access to my computer dialog. Welcome to Tandem. Enter the meeting ID given to you by the person who will be accessing your PC. Meeting ID colon edit. Type in text. Alt plus M. Now what this is, is you call Freedom Scientific Technical Support, right? And you're trying, you're trying, they're trying, they're trying. We can't figure it out. Neither of us can figure it out. It's a major issue here. Well, what happens is you enter the ID given to you by the technical support. Now, let me show you what, let me, um, now what that means is, 
you get you enter that ID given you to, to you by the technical support, and you can tab. Tab. Allow access button to activate. Press space bar. Alt plus A. And then once you have the key in, you just go ahead and allow access, and that will remain active until you disconnect. Tab. Cancel button to activate. Press space bar. I'm gonna cancel this. Space connection to controlling computer closed. Jaws. Now I'm gonna go back in, and now that I know where it is, I can just simply type all you. All you menu utilities menu jaws tab them sub tab them center sub allow access get access to a computer dot dot dot. Now I'm just gonna see what this is because I haven't tried this yet. Enter menu bar leaving menu bar get access to a computer dialog. Welcome to Tandem. To get access to another computer, you need to request a meeting ID from the Tandem Center. Press the space bar to begin. Get access button to activate. Press space bar. Alt plus G. Hang on. There's something in here. Oh. <laughs> Shift tab. Enable video checkbox not checked. To check press space bar. Alt plus E. So, we have the exact same um, issue. Now, the, 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 the thing that I like about this checkbox here is enabling video feedback is going to be a real breeze for somebody who let's say somebody who has a mainstream application wants to help you with your problem but they don't know how to do it but as per an agreement let's just say they bought a copy of jaws they would have bought it for this reason you enable the video feedback and somebody who's sighted can have visual feedback of what you're doing on your system. They no longer need to worry about, oh my gosh, what is a checkbox? What is a tree view? Well, a checkbox they would understand, but a tree view they would not quite understand. It's, it's, it's difficult to take somebody who's sighted and, and map the concepts, such as a, a checkbox, a tree view, a button, to somebody who is sighted and wouldn't use these terms on a regular basis. I mean, they might know what they are, but because they don't know what what they are, uh, don't use them on a regular basis, they might get confused. So having the video feedback is just a really nice touch. So I'm going to go ahead and tap the cancel button. Hang on. Tab, get access button to tab, cancel button to space, connection to target computer closed, JAWS. Okay, um, so that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. That is the tandem feature within JAWS. Now, of course, I don't have access to a computer. I don't, I don't have anybody that I can access at this time, so I can't, tell, I can't show you what's, what, what it's all about, how it works, because um, I don't have access to a computer, number one. And number two, I really wouldn't want to do it on YouTube because I don't want to have somebody else's private information up there. So, anyway, um, thank you for watching. Comments are welcome, and have a nice evening.